It's my first encounter with the Louisiana commercial shrimping boats, and I'm absolutely awestruck with the complexity of the process. It only gets wilder as we climb aboard. You can't believe the amount of is on the boat. Getting all the uh, bycatch. And with the bycatch, we hope to raise a plethora of fish that includes the yellowfin tuna. Oh, yeah! We got a yellow, baby! Since the early 1800s, Louisiana had already developed a culinary reputation as a place for exotic and unique cuisine. People from the area pride themselves in being highly skilled chefs. One very well-known chef from the area, Cody Carroll, has a restaurant called Hot Tails in nearby New Roads. He also has a cooking show called Cajun Aces. I'm thrilled that Cody took the time to make a Food Network-worthy spread for me to try some local favorites. Cody's first dish is fresh yellowfin sashimi, designed to easily be made out on the boat. Yeah, so super simple. He sliced the tuna for me, cabbage, a little bit of the tiger sauce. It's like a sweet and spicy Louisiana sauce. A little bit of shaved radish, jalapeno, cilantro. We're gonna finish with soy sauce on top. So it's like something we can really just eat fast. You've introduced me to something I never even dreamt of. I've only done it with soy sauce and, and wasabi. That is really, really good. So it's kind of like a fish taco with no taco. Yeah, an open fish. That's the way to do it. Next up is the star in Southern traditional cooking, shrimp and grits. It can be served as breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You want season? If you think you have enough, put a little more. Okay, I think I might be there, right? So we did Worcestershire sauce, chopped garlic, Cajun seasoning, lemons, and shrimp. That's it. So you can see how the bottom's cooked? Yep. We're gonna flip them all over. Okay. The key to the next step is you're gonna add butter, right? But you gotta you you have to use real butter. We did an herb butter and a regular butter. So the key here is you're making a sauce, right? So you're gonna stir it on super low. Okay. It's gonna make a pretty sauce. It's rich, but it's still just pungent and delicious. Man, that looks delicious. Go get it. Yeah. Well, it's official. I like grits. <laughs> <laughs> he just had to come to Louisiana. With some garlic bread being placed on the grill, this meal seems far from over. Black and tuna. Tell me about this. It's gonna be an andouille and shrimp linguine. This is the andouille, so this is a Cajun sausage. Super lean, super smoked. Andouille going in the pan. A little bit of mushrooms in here. Oh boy, the hot pack. We got a hot pocket going in, guys. You got your garlic. Not shy with the garlic. That smells good. Oh yeah. To sear the tuna, Cody starts by dipping it in melted butter and coating both sides with Cajun seasoning. This cooks for only a few seconds per side on a hot pan. Look at that, that's a beaut. This is a dish that people crave. While I continue to pan sear the tuna, Cody adds more ingredients to the unduly sausage. Clam juice. Oh, a little heavy cream, huh? A little bit. A little bit of uh, Creole mustard. You guys are so saucy. It's French. Yeah. So like Cajun cooking came from French, right? Yeah. And Italian. We're about, put, we're about to put some pasta in there. Not for the lactose intolerant. Just you could power a jet plane if you were lactose intolerant eating that meal. <laughs> Y'all know what you're doing? You're a professional Cajun chef now. Oh right? yeah. <laughs> you gotta use lots of stuff. Oh, I remember that shrimp. Those shrimpers were like some of the nicest guys we ever met. The dish comes together with linguine chopped green onions, and after a quick mix, it's plated with a tuna steak on top and a side of garlic bread. Woo! Finish that off. <laughs> Finish that off. <laughs> All right. Magic. <laughs> I love it. Pretty good. Huh? Mm -hmm. It smells good, I know that. That tastes so good. If I lived here, man, I might gain another 100 pounds. Whew, it's a struggle. Mm. The struggle is real mm -hmm. down here.